What's going on everyone? This is Indiana here with Emter Audio. And today I've got the Arillic H50. Now this is the all new model from Arillic. It's basically the new flagship model they have. MSRP is gonna be $400, but they do have some sales once in a while. Uh, now this is the latest unit from them. They told me that it's kind of a limited production right now. So if you wanna get your hands on it, definitely pick one up while you still can. Now, they're kind of making a lot of these like Swiss army knife, you know, pieces of audio gear that just do a ton of different stuff. That's what Arillac is really well known for. Um, this is something interesting because it's pretty big, actually, compared to a lot of the other units they make. It's a good maybe 30, 40% larger than some of the other smaller units they have. But there is a lot of stuff packed into this. Of course, we've got, you know, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. On the back here, I've got HDMI, optical. We got line in, but we do have a phono input, which is pretty cool. Um, we also have a Bluetooth, not only receiver, but it's also gonna be a transmitter to two separate pairs of headphones or earbuds. We do have a small, it's like a two point, I think it's like 2.4 or five inch OLED screen on the front here, volume control, and then I've got an on off switch on the front as well too. So let's do some close up shots of this and really check out all the details, all the features of the Arillic H50. All right, so here's a close up of the Arillic H50. Looks pretty clean on the front. I do like what they did here with the front. Um, some of the other units don't have a volume control built in. I like that this one does have a volume control built in. That is absolutely fantastic. It is of course a a uh, single button here so you can change some of the mode and make a few small adjustments. It does include a remote, nothing special on the remote. It's pretty simple, mostly volume up and down, a couple of settings, not a big deal. Now the real settings are gonna be found in the Forestream app. Um, it's not my favorite app, it's, it's just okay. Um, I wish I had some more features to it. It can be a pain to set up sometimes, but it's just a basic app. I just prefer to use Bluetooth right to the unit myself and I am good to go. All right, powering the unit on. Powers on quite nicely, of course, got the Arillic name right there. I do like how the display here, it's an OLED display, but it's rather basic here. There's not a whole lot of, you know, color or anything going on here. But what I do like about it though, is it's very easy to read and tell what is happening even from a distance. So you're sitting on the couch and this is maybe, you know, on a stand somewhere right below your TV, you can actually read what input is in. Um, that's what I like about it. Now, one thing that's very strange about this unit is the volume control here. So you can tell I'm on 30 right now. Watch this, if I go up just one, up, oh, I'm on 33, 36. There is no like 32, 31. That kind of bugs me a little bit. I wish I could go 31, 32, 33. It, it goes in threes. It's kind of annoying. It's really not my thing here. So. That's kind of just my two cents there. All right, moving to the back here. Um, one thing that a lot of smaller units that you know just kind of do everything, they have a, they kind of suffer from a problem where everything is a bit cramped on the end, the back end here. Um, this H50 is actually pretty nice in the back, so I've got some space here between these binding posts here. Um, phono line in. Um, the only spot that's really tight here is going to be your grounding, and the phono is kind of tight here. But other than that, it's not too bad here. Uh, I wish there maybe was like a second line it would be kind of nice back here, but yeah, it is getting a little tight then if we added that in. We do have a USB for a DAC. We've got a USB down here, LAN. I've got HDMI arc, sub out, optical in. There's plenty of stuff here to connect to. That's what I love about this unit is this thing is pretty well future proof. I mean, you wanna put this thing anywhere, you wanna power some headphones with it wirelessly, it can do that. Um, you wanna add a turntable in later, it can do that. Um, this thing can do streaming. There is so much stuff the H50 can do. Now, one thing that I thought was a little odd for the price point of being about 400 bucks was it really did not raise the power out of the amplifier here. It's still gonna be a 50 by two. So I was hoping to maybe get like a 75 or even a 100 out of the uh, Class D amp in here, but I guess that's okay. It does have plenty of power to it. Some of my other listening thoughts with the Arillic H50, um, I will say it does sound probably the best of any of the Arillic units that I have listened to. They have the new Sabre DAC in here, which is nice. Also, they've got a new Bluetooth chip as well, so that's pretty cool to see. Um, 
a few other things about the unit itself. It definitely sounds really, really good. Um, there is no issues that I've seen start with this unit from using it about a week now. But overall, I will say the H50 is a very well-built unit. Now, it is their flagship unit, so being at around $400, it does sound quite a more expensive than a lot of their other units. But you add in with a lot of the other features, of course, you got a sub out, phono input, um, 50 watts of channel, which is fantastic. Uh, all the other features they add into this thing, I mean, if you put, if you kind of put a price out, a preamp, an amp, a phono input, um, there's so much, you know, expense that really would go into making something like that that's going to be all in all separates. This thing is actually a pretty phenomenal deal at $400. So I will say it does sound great. Not the best, you know, unit that I've said, not the best amp that I've heard. Um, from a number of units, but I think it still sounds pretty good for what it is. And I definitely will say, I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a really just all-in-one Swiss Army Knife unit. Um, you'll be able to do just everything and future-proof your setup. This will be a unit that you can probably use for years and years because there's really nothing that it really lacks. I mean, the only thing you'd probably need to add is maybe just like a headphone amplifier if you want to use maybe wireless headphones, but that's about it that I can tell this thing is missing. Other than that, it's got pretty much everything, which is pretty cool. So guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Let me know in the comments what you think about a Relic and the new H50. So guys, take care. Have a great day and enjoy the rest of your weekend.